Welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Rein. I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking. So if you're into that stuff, make sure to subscribe. In today's video, I'll show you how to achieve a day to night effect. To achieve this effect, we have to use. Use, we have to do three things, which are the colors. We need to track the camera. That's a function which is building within After Effects. I also have a separate tutorial on that. That's on how you can attach objects to a wall or to the ground. And we're going to do a sky replacement. To achieve the sky replacement, we're going to use the rotoscope. After Effects can look pretty intimidating at the beginning, but I'll take you through the process step by step, so you will be okay. We are in After Effects now, and the first thing that we will do is go up to Tracker and click on Track Camera. Make sure to check the box of the detailed analysis. We are using the track camera function because we want to add the new sky, which we will add later on in this tutorial in 3D space. So the motion that is in the clip will also be added to the sky and it will make it look way more realistic. After Effects is now done with analyzing the video. I can see my track points and to make them visible again, I'm going to increase the size. Now I'm going to look for a target. A target is the red round thingy that you will see in the screen. That is far away and it's near the horizon. And I think if the target is flat, that will work the best. This target will be good. Then right mouse click and create solid. Once we've added the solid, we can make both layers invisible by checking off those boxes. Now we will move on to the colors. First, we have to add an adjustment layer. Right mouse click, add new adjustment layer. Then we're going to effects, color correction, and select vibrance. I'm going to change the vibrance to minus 35. And I use vibrance instead of saturation because saturation decreases all the colors and vibrance only decreases the intensity of the more brighter colors, which is perfect knowing that we want to achieve a night effect. Now on that same adjustment layer, we can add the curves. So again, go to effect, color correction and select curves. Now you can adjust the curves like so. I think something like this would be nice. You can also play around with it and look what the curves are doing for your clip until it looks something like this. Now this looks good. I will now create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects, color correction and select the hue and saturation. Check the colorize box and change the colorize to 230. Sort of, again, also look at your own clip and change the color saturation to around 30. We are going to change the blending mode from normal to overlay. You will see that it already has a huge impact on the video. And now we're going to decrease the opacity. Now the last thing that we have to add for the colors is an effect called tint. What tint does is it makes your video looks black and white, but we're going to decrease the opacity to around 30 and we are done with the colors for now. Make all the layers invisible except for the video layer. Right mouse click on the video layer and we are going to pre-compose this layer. Make sure that the move all attributes to new composition is checked and then click OK. Now we're going to the top of our screen and select the rotoscope. Then double click on your video layer and now we can start rotoscoping the sky. If you want to change the size of the brush, you can click and hold command at the same time. And now when you move your mouse up and down, you can see that the brush size is changing. Now we can start rotoscoping the sky. Make sure that you're very precise, especially on the first rotoscope you do, because when you're done with the rotoscope, you will press the space bar and then After Effects will do the job for you. After Effects does it 20 frames at a time and then stops. Then you have to adjust your rotoscope again. If you're still happy with your rotoscope, so happy with how it looks, then you just click in the middle of the sky in this case, and then you hit the spacebar again. Repeat this process until you're at the end of the video. Now my rotoscope is done. When I go back to the main composition, I can see what I actually rotoscoped. And now I see that the desert is completely gone. 
but we wanted to remove the sky and to change that we're going to check the box that says invert foreground and background and now the sky is gone. To make it look less choppy we're going to add another tool which is called the Refine Rotor Brush tool. Select it by holding Alt and click on the rotoscope icon. Now we will draw a thick line over our rotoscope. When we've done that press the spacebar and again After Effects will do the rest. The refined brush will recognize the contrast, so the sky and the desert, and make it more smooth. Now when that's done, you can play with the settings until you're satisfied with the look of the video. Last but not least, we're going to add the new sky. We use the track camera function to place a sky in 3D within our scene, and we now still have a solid there. We're going to change the solid into our sky, and to change it we first have to pre-compose the solid after we've pre-composed it we're going to double click on that solid and you see that a new composition appears now delete the solid drag your video from the sky to the composition and change the sequence settings in my case the sequence settings are 3840 by 2160 now when we go back to the main composition we see that the solid is removed and that we now have a sky but the last thing is changing the X, Y and Z rotation. Do that until you're happy with how it looks, make it look as realistic as possible. And once you've placed the sky in position, you are done. That is it for today guys. Thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. If this was a bit too much information i do have separate tutorials on the 3d track camera and on the sky replacements so if you're interested and want more kind of in-depth information and i explain more in those videos then make sure to check them out i'll put the link in the description then i know i remember when i started with after effects it was a bit terrifying because i had no clue where to start which tutorials to look for so I hope this tutorial can kind of help you get started with After Effects because you can do so much and it's such an amazing, such an amazing program. So yeah, I, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, like the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next.